Welcome. It's, oh, I started to say it's Monday morning. Man, Monday stuck in my head after saying it five times the other day. Uh, it is Thursday morning, and I've got three days of mail, some of it good, some of it bad, and I've also got one trade. So, and the trade is patches. So lots of them. So I'll hold the patches till the end. TTMs I'll do first because there was only one technically. Two. I'll do a little of order because I know some of your interests uh, may not coordinate with mine. And I also have fan packs, so I'll put those in the middle. So since we have a long one, I will start. First one was Monday. It's TTM. It was 38 days in coming. And this is one I was wondering if I'd, I would get back when I sent it. It's Juan Gonzalez. I don't know why I thought he didn't do his mail, but uh, he did do his mail. I have these, you'll see these Ted Williams cards. Nice cards. They're, they're beautiful. All the pictures, full color picture. And then on the back, his text usually, even a normal card has text. Uh, somewhere I thought he had his normal card. But uh, I've got some of those left, so what I did was I sent them out to every player I could and slowly getting them back. That and the Roger Staubach uh, football cards are two beautiful sets, which I'm, I'm thinking about getting on eBay. Maybe. Um, the only other TTM was a return. If any, you're right in Golden Richards. Golden does not, well, has moved, and it's undeliverable. So, so much for that. All right, fan packs. Now, I thought I'd have packages by now, but according to my informed delivery, they should be coming, I think, today. Um, it's kind of hard to predict the informed delivery when it says in transit, but then it says my arrive. So, we'll wait and see. But I have two packages coming from my new area. Uh, I thought about not showing anything from there, but I've got three so far, so I'm going to go ahead and break the news. Uh, then I have two packages coming. Uh, today I have UPS coming from a college. I do know that. So, that'll, Monday's video should be good. All right, this was Monday, and it is from, let's see here. Blue Ridge Scenic Railway. So the uh, area I did was railways and uh, in particular scenic railways like Blue Ridge. Uh, I looked up the list and got a list of the top ones in the U.S. and sent out to all of them. So 263 of them. There's Blue Ridge. Uh, let's see here. Blue Ridge says a nice brochure. Self-seal envelopes will get stuck to the brochure somewhat. Because they also included uh, a thing on... This is George's Blue Ridge, by the way. They... Included a visitor's guide. <clears throat> For those of you collecting visitor's guide, Kim Williams, I know you collect visitor's guides, and uh, West Star TTM does visitor's guides, Michael Rare. So they sent both the visitor's guide and their brochure. Um, anyway, I sent out 263 requests, got a, quite a few emails back asking. Well, what do you know? Hey, you open the next one. Um, asking, you know, one was, is this legitimate? That was funny. I got an email back said, is this a legitimate request? And I explained, yes, it is. You know, it goes on. Um, here's Campo Railroad Park and Museum in La Mesa, California. There's can pause that and get the email address 
it's a non-profit so there's the Pacific Southwest Railway Museum the back oh look at this they sent me a free admission it's good until November I don't think I'll make it to California by November but it was nice of them there's a postcard they sent and last but not least train museum there's the brochure Let's see open it up here there's the back so thank you Pacific Southwest now I have another one I haven't opened From Astoria Riverfront Trolley in Astoria, Oregon. And let's see what they said. Oh, they sent some postcards. Oh, there's a nice one. Done with cruise ship. Blank bank. There's them under a bridge, going under a bridge, Astoria Riverfront Trolley. Oops. Oh wow, this is neat. Now that makes me want to go to that town. Look at that. Wouldn't it be great to just take a trolley ride along the riverfront and look at how beautiful it looks. So thank you, Astoria Trolley. Um, boy, that makes me want to take a trip. My, uh, those of you may know, my profession used to be in travel and, of course, with pandemic, dead. So I'm furloughed forever, if it seems like a bit over a year. But uh, anyway, I want to get back on the road. I'm itching, itching for travel. All right, Monday, this was Patches. Those of you who want Patches, you held on, you... You uh, are about in for a treat. First one, Baldwin. Small Baldwin, California. Small town in California. Got enjoy. Um, I assume they're an administration person. And it says Baldwin Park hub of the San Gabriel Valley. See there, when I go to Astoria, England, I can stop by Baldwin Park. England? Australia. Ast can't talk. Astoria, Oregon. So, um, someone has asked me in the comments how I get the patches. Uh, I sent an email request, and I'll be honest with you, one out of every 20 probably give me a patch. Um, some departments are are tougher than others. Uh, sheriffs are pretty tough. Uh, police, there's just so many towns. It the it's hard to say if they're rough or not, but they're but literally like one out of twenty, I get something from. Um, I get a lot of I'm sorry because of 911 because of the homeland security we don't send out patches. It's which is fine. I get a lot of, sorry, we only trade with other law enforcement officials, which, again, is fine. Um, I understand all that security. Unfortunately, there's bad people out there that will try to use these patches badly. Um, so I understand the, the hesitation giving them to us. Uh, if you're going to start patches, I would say start colleges. Colleges are about 1 in 10. Uh, get lucky on and fire departments. Fire departments are about five and ten because you know, uh, DC. I've got several patches because the fire department has. Um, I don't have any on me; they're all packed away. But fire department has what they call house patches. So they have their main patch, which has their city or town, <clears throat> and then they have a house patch for the actual fire station. And house patches are really hard to get because they only make enough, usually for a fireman, maybe a couple extra. But DC, I tried 
um, to send to all the uh, firehouses. I looked at the addresses, sent them all, and I got uh, about two, two or three responses out of 10, 15. So. But they're neat because they're usually hand drawn and and uh, on a patch bottom sign, and they fe feature Looney Tunes, whatever. There's all sorts of neat, neat ones. All right, next I have the the trade. The trade was uh, what uh, an officer in my area had posted on one of the Facebook groups. And he was only a couple towns over. So I went ahead and tried. I private messaged him. And he agreed to a trade. So we met uh, yesterday in the rain. Oof, in front of the police department. Uh, and we traded 11 patches. He got 11 of mine. And I've got now 11 of his. So without further ado, let me start showing those to you. First one, Knox County Sheriff. I got that one because of the beautiful cover bridge. Um, so a lot of people have certain types they collect. Uh, some, you know, take whatever. I'm trying to think of examples. Well, I before I did my videos, I did airports. Um, I because I was in travel. There's McHenry County Sheriff, McHenry County Police, local police. Um, because I was in transportation, I tried to get any, any patches from airports, so they got all airport theme. Some have like covered bridges. There's several patches throughout the United States that I know feature covered bridges. Uh, a lot of people do scenery, uh, animals. There's McHenry County Sheriff's Office Correctional Division, the jails. Uh, K9 are a popular one. The, uh, the K9 units are very popular on patches. Here's Leland Police. Again, I got that one because of the farm feature of the farmhouse there. Or, sorry, the barn and the silo. Little town downstate Illinois. Uh, West Dundee Police. Got the nice eagle. They get like eagles along the Fox River. So that's a nice one. Marshall, Woodstock Division. All right, next ones are kind of, well, kind of special, but here, some, here is the City of New York. Might look familiar to people because they're featured everywhere on all the TV shows, but New York is a hard one to get. Um, this is generic patches, usually not hard, really harder specialty units like homicide, bomb unit, SWAT, you know, those kind of things, those are really hard to get. Usually people, when they trade, they ask for two patches to one of the hard ones. But New York, they watch eBay. They go after the people that sell fake patches on eBay. Uh, if they see any of theirs that they know are not, fit, are not real, they go after them. This is Chicago Police um, Breast Cancer Awareness. Every department, well, not every department, a lot of departments have breast cancer patches, which are pink. Uh, the officers have a choice of wearing either the breast cancer patch during the month of October or the regular patch. So a lot of them will switch over to the pink patches. Um, a lot of officer, a lot of departments use this as fundraising. So I've gotten several patches, which I bought from departments, um, the pink patches. And in fact, one of the responses I got recently was, I'm sorry we don't trade, but you can buy our, our breast cancer awareness patch in October. So, And they're usually reasonable. I mean, literally the most I've ever paid for a patch is probably $10, and that was for a breast cancer patch. And that was like two dollars is for the patch, and eight dollars is going to breast cancer awareness. So that was well worth it. Most uh, are five dollars. Hawaii 
a lot of Hawaiian ones are five dollars. The ones that are available, uh, and then other towns, little small towns, are two dollars, one dollar, three dollars. So that it's very reasonable if you want to buy. Not on unlike TDMs where we all know that you know some some players charge up ten, fifteen, twenty dollars for a signature. So I pick and choose on which ones I buy. Uh, if you w want to get in patch collecting and you want to go the buying route, uh, I don't know specifically what towns, but I do know that Alaska, if you look up Alaska patches, they have a site and all the town, well, not all, I keep saying all, most of the towns contribute their patches and they're available for anywhere from $2 up to 5 or $10. They have the state troopers. They have a lot of towns. I bought a lot from them because Alaska is almost every one of their patches has something scenic on it. So I'll definitely show you some more patches. Next two, he did one for one. Uh, basically because he, he took some of my airport ones and uh, I had one big, big, like a big Nashville airport was a big one. So he didn't worry about two for one on these, but these are all special teams. There's McHenry County Task Force. Uh, chances are these are the, the difficult ones, like I said. You can usually only get these in what's called hand-to-hand -hand trades, which is what I did yesterday, meeting someone in purpose, um, because they're so specialized. <clears throat> I've only gotten one through the mail. Uh, that was a SWAT team in Alabama, and that was a uh, a chief in a small town had read my request and you know he communicated with me a few times email so I feel, feel he trusted me uh, he sent me several patches uh, but anyway here is Nipus which is uh, I can't remember the, the exact names but it's basically the SWAT team for Northern Illinois um, suburbs because the suburbs have uh, here's another one Got in green also. Uh, suburbs have small, well, relatively small departments compared to Chicago or something. They have a conglomerate of officers that make up NIPAS. It's Northern Illinois. I can't remember what the PAS is for. But, you know, basically they respond to uh, situations which the local may call them in local authority or something like that so if you've stuck around you've heard more than you care to about patches um they're a lot of fun i i do enjoy collecting them um and basically they're unlimited i mean really if you you have police you have public safety you have fire department um, some people collect security firms. Uh, other lot of security firms are now going to uh, polos and where they're embroidered on there. Uh, but a lot of people do foreign. Uh, I've dabbled in foreign, haven't got a lot. Uh, got a couple from Australia. And I think that's about it. Everything like Canadian. So... Uh, but then they, you know, some people call off into military patches, um, military stuff to collect. At least, at least I've, well, I've tried. So there's a lot of different avenues of patches you can collect. Um, anyway, I've rambled on long enough. And see, Monday's video should be a good one. Uh, the thing from a college, I won't tell you which college yet, is two pounds, according to UPS. Um, two packages coming from, uh, where were they coming from? One's Chattanooga and the other, I forgot where the other one is. But uh, I have a feeling those are part of my railway thing. And who knows what TBTMs we'll get and anything normally through the mail. So hopefully Monday will be chock full and it'll be just as long. And I hope you all enjoyed this. I Hopefully I didn't ramble too long. And have a good weekend, everybody.